Hey, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. It does not work without you guys. So let's get open for business here, and let's wake up the football gods here. Thank you, guys. Waking up on the first go-round. All right, so here we are, Thursday morning here at Joe Boo's Man Cave. We got lots of work to do. We got our new shot glasses, keep your ass at home ones. And I got a lot of uh, uh, new members that I got to get those out to. I got the shot glass racks I got to get out to people. So thank you everybody for the, uh, for the support and everything else as we continue to try and bring you all the news that is on the Dallas Cowboys. And so people have been asking, how do I get one of the shot glasses? Well, there's two ways. You can... Um, Become a channel member. All channel members get sent a shot glass uh, free of charge. And Or if you go to my website, cowboyjoboo.com, and scroll, scroll down the main page, you'll see it'll say products. And you'll see the shot glass racks as well as, of course, uh, the shot glasses. And right now we have the shot glasses on sale for $3.99 because it's important for us to keep our ass at home. In fact, you can get a full pack, full shot glass set for $14.99 so go ahead and get those things ordered um, or if you want you don't have to but people have been asking so last night after sitting around being tired getting ready to do my fireside chat word came out that the Dallas Cowboys signed Alden Smith Alden Smith and, and at first I was saying I mean it rung a bell but I was like Alden Smith he hasn't played in a long time Alden Smith, who was an absolute incredible beast on the field, who had some problems off the field. Unfortunately, this was one of those guys that was extremely talented and maybe too young and not ready for the limelight and came crashing down. Had multiple um, arrests and suspensions for substance abuse and other issues and things and has been suspended since the 2015 season. The guy's young. He hasn't ha, doesn't have that many miles on that body. In fact, let's look at his numbers. Um, he only played for five years. But in that five years, it's kind of amazing because he had 47 and a half sacks. But really, you don't really even want to talk about it in the five-year term. What you really want to talk about is those first three years. 14 sacks, 19 sacks, eight and a half sacks. He's an outside linebacker slash defensive end. He, it, to me, this says that the Dallas Cowboys are changing defenses to the 3-4 because this is a guy who normally will stand up and rush the passer. Now, there's not, the big difference between defensive end and outside linebacker really is semantics. More times than not, a defensive end has his hand in the dirt and is in a 4-3 defense where you have two defensive linemen and two defensive ends putting pressure on the quarterback. Their job is to stop the run game and sack the quarterback. With a 3-4 defense, you have three defensive linemen. You have a nose tackle, two tackles, and then you have outside linebackers. But basically, the outside linebacker is really like a defensive end. Very rarely will you see them out in pass coverage. They are there to put pressure on. And he can play in either either or. So when you look at a guy to replace Robert Quinn, not too bad. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. He hasn't played in four years. We don't know what kind of shape he's in and so forth, if he's going to be ready to play or anything else. This is where the Dallas Cowboys, they sign him to a $4 million deal. Basically, only two of it is guaranteed. The other two is basically incentives. It's performance. It means that you've got to be out on the field taking care of business. So to take a risk like this, it's not a whole lot of money and it's, uh, you know, it's low risk and high reward. So a lot of people are kind of like in comments, we, we did a live stream last night when the news broke, and they're like, you know, why are you going to sign this guy who hasn't played in four years when Giovanni and Clowney is still out there, you know? And it's kind of like, yeah, well, Giovanni Clowney wanted $22, 23000000 million. Has dropped his price down to the $18 million range, which to me is still too damn high. For a guy who got all of 
three and a half sacks last year. Three and a half sacks. That's it. So what we're looking at, because a lot of people say, man, we should have kept Robert Quinn. Well, Robert Quinn signed a five-year, $70 million deal. That's $15 million. When you think about the Dallas Cowboys signing Don Terry Poe, two years, $9.5 million. When you think about him signing Alden Smith for one year for $4 million. When you think of Gerald McCoy signing for four years, I'm sorry, I'm not three years? But it's $4 million. Basically, we're talking about 10 to $12 million for those three guys. Those three guys. And you can go ahead and say, throw Ha Ha Clinton Dix in that mix as well. And basically, between Ha Ha Clinton Dix, Gerald McCoy, Alden Smith, and Deontay Poe, is still less than what Giovanni and Clowney is asking for. Now, there's no guarantee that any of these guys, because they are older guys, have anything in the tank. But for me, they're strength in numbers. And basically, you're looking at saying, we're putting those four guys against that one. So from a value standpoint, sounds pretty good. Um, and they're guys that, if they don't work out, you can let them go without a whole lot of pain. If they do work out, you can still let them go in free agency. And if they do really, really well, like Robert Quinn did, then you're talking about compensatory picks coming back. And that's how you get ahead of the game. It's not so much that you've got the best coach in the world. Sometimes it comes down to you've got a ample supply of good personnel coming to your team. And that's where a lot of teams you look at that go out and they spend a boatload of money for getting one guy. You know, We're going to go out and we're going to get a uh, Landon Collins. And we're going to spend a whole lot of money for that guy. Or a Josh Norman. We're going to spend a whole lot of money for that guy. You still have so many other holes in your team that you can't fill. And here's the thing. Dallas Cowboys have probably had more pro bowlers over the last 10 years than any other team. But the problem has been is once you get past that first level of pro bowlers, when they get hurt, the guys you go to are so low that they're really barely NFL players. New England understands this. They understand it's not just about the top guys. They can be lesser top guys as long as the guys underneath of them are better than most backups so when I lose this guy we're plugging in a guy who it's not a big drop off I'll give you a perfect example when you go from Tyron Smith to Chaz Green that's a major impact and blow to your team so this is where the Cowboys are trying to assimilate as much talent as possible so let's take a quick look at some of the past. And again, this, this are old, old films now. This is old tape. But uh, you still want to see what this guy's capable of. Of number 99. Boom. Chasing down Russell Wilson. Let's, let's, let's zoom the camera in a little bit here. I like a guy that is relentless and doesn't give up on getting the quarterback. He had speed, he had explosiveness, he had size, six foot five, about 265. Strength, uh, I, I'm curious to see what he has now. Look at that, it's like he shot out of a cannon. Damn, damn. Mm. Watch this, watch him come through here, bam. Just swims right past the tackle. Left the tackle flat-footed. Boom. Yeah. That guy's a beast. Still chasing from the backside. Love it. Love it. Look at that. Splits the double team. And continues and chases down the quarterback. Watch this. Boom. He got help with the running back. Sherman didn't do jack. Sherman just kind of bounced off of him. 
boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you can see what the Dallas Cowboys could potentially be getting. Again, he hasn't played for four years, but... All right, so let, let's go back to his statement here. and We'll get ready to wind this morning up. Um, this is his first comments since this. Life is good. I'm thankful. I'm blessed. I'm a cowboy, Smith wrote in his caption. Smith was a menace on the field for the for San Francisco 49ers first. Oh, wait a moment. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Let me slip down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, there is beauty in the struggle, Smith wrote. Life will always present us with tests. I've learned how to take a different perspective on the adversities of life. Instead of looking at life as a victim, I've embraced the journey as God has planned it, making exponential strides towards becoming a better man. Take this time that we have away from our normal day Today, activities and think about changing your perspective. Focus not on how bad the situation is, but instead on how we can all come out of this better people. Let's work on things we have been putting off and grow towards our ultimate potential. That's kind of wait, wait, wait a minute. Damn, he just struck a chord with me. Uh, that's that, that's kind of like what I've been saying to you guys. I said, look, man. This situation that we're in right now is an opportunity to grow and change. We're going to learn a lot about ourselves going through adversity. Because, see, I've always said, because in my life, I've had some bad times. You know, I went through a divorce and raised two kids on my own. I had a flesh-eating bacteria that almost killed me. I've had my leg burned and skin grafted from the knee down. But all of those things, those bad times made me appreciate the good times. See, unless you've gone through bad times, you don't know what good times are. Right now, we're going through a struggle. We're going through not being able to do the things we want to do. But what will happen is when we get on the other side, you'll learn to appreciate the things that you have after you have not had them. So maybe, maybe there's a chance that this guy has grown up. People evolve and people change. And people deserve to have a second chance. It's not what you did the first time. It's what you do to make amends for that first time. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get busy and get back to work. Because, well, that's what we do here at the Joe Boo Sports Report. I got boxes to label. I got racks to finish getting painted and put together. And I got news on the Dallas Cowboys to bring to you guys. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how this works out. I'm Mark Holmes. And I love defensive line. Oh, I love defensive line. Woo-wee. Yeah. Yeah. Get them. Get them. There you go. Bam. Gotta like it. I'll see you guys soon.